Hi everybody, as Berlin is getting colder and windy, it's time to move these plants inside the house. But before we do this, we want to follow some steps in order to prevent any pest infestations or anything that you don't want to bring inside the house. So I'm going to show you what I do step by step in order to bring my plants in the house. The first thing that you want to do is to pick a date when you will bring your plants inside the house. What I typically do is I look at my calendar and I see the weather in Berlin. Once I see that the temperatures are getting to 10 degrees Celsius or lower, this is the time that we want to prevent our plants from being outside because it's too cold and also the days are going to get shorter so they will need more light, maybe grow lights or anything like this and higher temperatures that you can provide inside. And around those days, I'm gonna pick one and say, okay, so that's the date when I'm gonna bring my plants inside the house. Now you wanna do that because you want to prepare your plants three to four days before you're gonna bring them in. First thing that you want to do is to spray them with water at high pressure. This will help you to get rid of any pests or any bugs that are on the leaves or under the leaves or on the stems. And I usually do this every day for three to four days before I bring my plants in. We got a great idea last year because as you may know, we live in an apartment, so we don't have any garden, but we do have a balcony. And sometimes to water my plants or even spray them with high pressure water can be very time consuming. So we actually got a hose that is 30 meters long and I just connect it to the water source in the kitchen and I bring it to the balcony to spray my plants. It is pretty useful. The second thing that you want to do is to spray your plants with some insecticide. I actually make my own and this has horticultural soap, water, rubbing alcohol and neem oil. And what I do is I spray the leaves on top and on the bottom. I also spray the stem and I also clean them with this solution and with paper towels. Again, you wanna do this every day for three to four days before you bring the plants inside. Now, while doing my research, I also found two options to deal with the soil. And I would like to know which one do you prefer, so let me know down in the comments. The first one is to spray the soil with hydrogen peroxide. This is gonna be a 3% hydrogen peroxide and you spray the soil really well until you see the first layer of the soil a little bit wet. The hydrogen peroxide will make sure that you don't have any larva or bacteria in the soil. But of course, you can also kill some other good bacteria in the soil. The second option, which is the one that I think I'm going to be doing, is to repot your plant. This way you give the plant new soil and you make sure that there is no eggs or any larva in the soil or around the roots. Okay, after preparing your plant for the three to four days before you move it in, you will move it in. But in order to be really preventive, what I recommend is that you quarantine your plant for at least one week. So place your plant away from all of the indoor plants. Because we never know, and I can tell you, you don't want an infestation in all of your plants inside the house. So quarantine your plant for at least one to two weeks. Now, very important to remember, these plants have been outside the whole summer. So they got lots of sunlight and we don't want to bring them to a very dark space all of a sudden. So what I would recommend is that you bring some light to them. So for example, I'm going to quarantine my plants in the bathroom. We don't have so much light there. And what I'm going to do to provide some light to them is to put some grow lights around them. So the change is not so harsh. Uh, so yeah, I would strongly recommend that if you want to learn more about grow lights, uh, just check out my video. I think you're going to like it and it's a very um, thorough <laughs> guide for beginners. So yeah, uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave it here. I think it's over here or here, but yeah, I'll leave it there. And yeah, uh, I hope this video was useful and as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! <laughs>